So, what's happening? Welcome to this week's video. Carrying on with a bit of prep, and by any luck, we'll be on to spraying the van. So, rocking the lockdown hair, loving it. No barber shops open, might skin me head. Hey oh, but we've got our big disaster sorted out. I didn't film doing it because it, well, I did film a bit, but it was doing me adding. So I uh, buzzed it off, just got it done. So that is a layer we've welded in a new piece of steel section that I've cut and folded and molded to the shape of the van. It wasn't quite perfect, so then just a layer of waterproof fiberglass filler over the top just to clean things up a bit make things nice make sure it is watertight um, so we shouldn't have any more problems so nearly finished off sliding door jam all that's really left to do on this side now is sand down the black and then that is this side all done then got to move on to the back doors as you can see I haven't really done much on them the rear steel there step and all the door jam retape put my mask in there because I had to break in to see inside the van where the hole was so then back doors um, found on the back door handle I don't know if you can see that see it's bowed in um, it looks like when the previous owner had the van and um, somebody's attempted to break into it so we're going to sort that out I'm going to put a bit of filler over that just to neaten it up there's a ding in the driver's door I'm going to bang a bit of filler on to neaten up and there's a ding in the passenger door um, that needs a bit of filler in there's a couple of bits I'm just going to skim a bit of filler over on the um, sliding door but the sliding door is in remarkably good condition um, we took it back basically to bare metal around the deadlock because we were starting to get rust bubbling through the paintwork there got all the window masked off so all in all, a bit more masking work to done, a bit more prep work to be done. And then it's a case of panel wipe the whole van down, tack wipe the whole van down, and we're on to paint. How we're going to do it this time, same, same sort of way we did it last time. We're going to go for our black first. We're going to get all our black done, respray the bonnet black, respay the bottom of the sliding door black get all the black done get it out the way so we'll mask up a line along the van again spray up to that line we're actually going to drop the line a bit lower this time so the white's going to come down to here it just means that that mask line oh getting blinded brian led um that mask line is hidden by the plastics so it's not as important, it doesn't matter as much. It doesn't have to be absolutely spot on. Um, I've got the scuttle panel to prep, which it's only a little piece, it's not much. Um, that shouldn't take too long at all on the windscreen to mask off. Now, I've bought something to try on masking the windscreen off. This is, um, a specialist trim masking tape so so this trim masking tape as you can see let's just rip a strip off here that little plastic piece that goes into your rubber seal and then you wrap that self adhesive there you wrap around so you don't have to Screen. so basically you come in to the edge of your seal here slide it up and down 
There we go. We've got that in. And then that, pull it taut. Pull it nice and tight so it creates that gap there. That means you're not going to have any hard lines on your spray. And you're not going to have any horrible paint on your actual uh, seals. So, all in all, oh, I'm getting backlit again. Uh, we are getting there. Um, I'll get on with it, get a bit more done. And we shall catch up with you in a bit. Um, I'll do the same thing as I did last time, go right through the process of Raptor. Because that seemed, you, you liked it. So, we'll catch up with you once we get a bit more prep done. Catch you in a minute. I've used this time I went on heavy with the first coat I did a lighter second coat or a finer texture second coat and I don't know if you'll be able to see on this camera but besides that little piece of cack which I'm guessing is a fly oh look at that a bit of fly on there yeah um, yeah I am well, well happy with the finish. I also did some of the handles for the doors. Can't really see them that well. Sliding doors done, underneath the sliding doors done in the black. Bonnets done. Looking mega. So, Another thing I want to talk about is if you are going to wrap to your van, and I mean wrap to your van, full van, I really wholeheartedly suggest you get in the proper U-Pol Raptor gun. Because that doesn't half make a difference. As you can see, I've gone through four litres doing that black. But yeah. This, this gun, I can't say anything better about it. Obviously, get yourself a water trap and a pressure regulator as well. Last time I sprayed the van, I made the mistake of not doing that. And while the result was good, it's not as good as the result I've got this time. Also, excuse probably a face mask mark because isocyanates, always wear a mask when you're spraying Raptor, because it's not good for you. And the uh, the lockdown do on the air. So comment below if you like the lockdown do. Loving it. Um, just take you for a little walk around. But I am chuffed with it. There's a few bits that probably could have gone on better. But it's that way with every paint job, no matter how good you are, you'll always find some imperfections in your work. So yeah, there's all our black done. I've even to the point where when you take the interior panels off, the interior panels, what am I on about? I must be high on paint fumes. When you take the interior lower door cubby compartment off, it's black behind it and it all matches.
slight issue. We ran out of white paint. Um, yeah, not, not the best on my behalf. I didn't order enough. So if you're doing a van like this, we're doing all the door jams and the insides of doors and the interior of the sliding door and the roof and everything. 12 litres is not enough if you're going for the white. It might be if you're going for a coloured and tinting it a, a, a dark colour, but with white, it just didn't cover. So we've got another eight litres of white on the way to do the sliding door, finish it off, do the back doors and give the whole van another dusting over just to take up any of the spots where you've still got a bit of primer coming through very slightly. It's very subtle, but I know it's there and it'll wind me up. So, I want to thank you all for watching. I know this part's getting a bit boring. Once all this is done and the, the, the COVID is retreating um, and we can get more supplies, we'll be back on with interior build. Um, the also other thing we've got to do is I have a roof rack that sits on the top. Um, the roof rack came with the van. It's a rhino rack, but it needs modifying to suit where the skylights are now. So we'll be doing a video on cutting that, welding it, and then we're going to black wrap to that with a grip additive in it as well, so it's not slippy. We're doing the same on the step that mounts on the back door. That's going black wrapped with a grip additive, and the back bumper is going black ad uh, black wrapped with a grip additive. So that's the end of that. I want to thank you all for watching. Give us a like if you like my silly haircut or lack of haircut. Um, subscribe if you're not already, it really does help us. Ring the little bell and you'll get notified when we actually do post. Um, I did promise you I'd be posting weekly and worked out. Um, well, it has, but it's not been on the same day every week. So, give us that thumbs up, big thumbs up, whoop whoop, and subscribe. Also, link in the description below to our Instagram. Um, check us out on Instagram. I post daily on Instagram, basically, so you get more of an idea of what we're going through, what we're doing. Um, also, I'm going to link in the cards, wherever YouTube puts it now, um, a link to Raptor's Garage for Raptor in a van, Raptor in just a how-to guide. I'm gonna to link to Blackrock Outfitters doing the sealing of all the trim clips. Now we did that when we first did the black, but I'm gonna put it there again in case you need to seal them trim clips to let water in. Um, and I'm also gonna link his video in the title cards, wherever they are. Um, his video of him Raptor in a van very recently. He's only just brought it out, but gives you it's just another idea on how people do it. What I do might not be the best way, it's just the way I think is the best for me to do it with the tools and equipment and space I've got. It might not always be the best. If ideally I'd have a stock room full of paint and a big spray booth and all the gear, um, I'd bladder it on, be done in no time. But it doesn't always work out like that, so you've got to work with what you've got. So, we'll catch you next week, possibly. Probably not the same day release in the video. Um, as I said, please subscribe. Please give us a thumbs up. Comment below. Call me an idiot for running out of paint. And ring that little bell for notifications. So, we'll catch you next time.